All right, so you guys seem to really enjoy my last video on 15 tips for Lightroom. So I got another one for you, and that is 15 Lightroom mobile hacks. All right, let's get started with the first one, and that is a simple one. When you have an edit here, let's just do something like this. Press and hold on the screen, and you can see that it shows before and after. So this one you probably already knew, so let's jump on to the second one. If you've made an edit, and you're happy with it, and you want to save it as a preset, you can do that. To the top right corner, with these three dots, go down and choose Create Preset. Here you can name it, then you can select what settings you want to be in applied in the preset. So if you don't want the geometry, so for example, if you have cropped the image and you don't want to save that as a preset, then don't check that box. Once you're done, just press the check mark in the top right corner. You will see on the screen that your preset has been saved on the user presets. And to find them, it is just the bottom left corner, the three circles, and you have user presets, and you have your presets there. All right, let's jump to the third tip. And this is one I absolutely love and I didn't know about it until I started researching for this video. And that is if you go up to the top and you choose the share logo, then you go down to create edit replay. And what that is going to do is that it's going to create a video for you automatically that you can then share to your social media and show the before and after of your photo. And this is such a cool function. I mean, how dope is that? Just a super quick way to sort of do a before and after and show your edit. And it's perfect for uh, short form vertical content on social media. So well done Lightroom. Okay, let's go back to Lightroom and look at tip number four. And that is if you go down to the bottom right corner to the heel tool. And one thing that I didn't know about this was that if you press the tool uh, on the left, you can see that you have three different options. You have the remove, heal and the clone. So what you can do is that you can zoom into the image so that you can get more precise with your removing. And if you just change the size of the brush and you can start removing parts that you don't want in your image. A great hack that I always use on all of my images because it's just removing the things that you don't want. And honestly, I didn't know that you could use even the heal and clone stamp here in Lightroom Mobile. So I think that's sick. And the next hack is that you can actually change your workspace while you are in Lightroom Mobile. When you have the screen up, all you'd have to do is swipe down once to remove that one. Swipe, if you just swipe it down one more time, it's going to go down to this just minimal bar at the bottom, which I think is sick. And I think this is important when you are using a phone because you don't have that much real estate on the screen. So being able to minimize it to just the bottom is really nice. All right, and next up we have, if you use two fingers on the screen and just tap, you will see that you will get up some information about the image. And if you double tap one more time, you will get the histogram instead. Just a great little hack if you wanna see some information about your image and the histogram. And this leads us to the next tip, and that is that you can rate your photos in Lightroom Mobile as well. So it's going to be the same star system as you use on uh, Lightroom Classic. And all you have to do to rate it is go up to the top right corner and go down to info and rating. And here you can rate your photo with one to five stars, which I think is really nice. I use it all the time on my laptop when I edit photos. So it's nice being able to do it here as well. All right, and I think we are on number eight, and that is also a super nice one. And that is just that if you double tap one of the sliders, it's going to reset to its original value. So if I double tap exposure here as well, for example, it's going to go down to zero. Just a quick little hack for you. And number nine, following the one on the sliders, is that if you use two fingers when you are sliding the sliders, you are going to be able to see when you are starting to clip the highlights of the image. And for tip number 10, that is if you just tap on the right side of the slider, it's going to do incremental increases of that slider. And if you tap on the left side, it's going to decrease in incremental uh, parts. So it's just a nice way if you don't want to slide all of the sliders, you can just tap on the side and it's going to increase or decrease depending on which side you tap on. All right, and the next one is going to be in the crop tool. Here you can do, it's pretty much exactly the same as this double tapping the slider. So by now you have probably seen these red dots that appear on the screen when I touch it. And that is something that you can turn on inside of Lightroom. So go up to the three dots again in the top right corner, go down to app settings. And then you scroll down almost to the bottom, you will see input. Here you can see some shortcuts and gestures you can do, but at the bottom you can see show touches. So you can just check or uncheck that slider if you want to show the touches on your screen. So this is great if you want to record a video like I'm doing right now. All right, then for the next one, we are going to go and look for another picture because we want something with a building. 
All right, let's take this image for example. Please don't mind the image, it's not anything at all. What you can see here is that the perspective is kind of wonky on the uh, building. So you can fix that by going down to the crop. And if you press the pen here, you will see that you get some geometry tools. And what you can do is choose the upright and turn that on. First of all, it's going to be on auto. That might work, but if you want to, you can press it, go down to guided. And here you will be able to draw lines on the image. And here you want to draw in sort of the lines where that you want to be straight in the image. So if you do that, then Lightroom is going to look at those lines, straighten it out, and it's going to like uh, change the geometry of the image so that you get straight lines. But as you can see in, the, in this case, this image was just too wonky, so it's not going to work. But for example, if you photograph a building and you see that some of the lines are kind of leaning outwards or inwards, which often happens, then this can be a nice tip to just straighten them out. And it's not going to crop the image as much as it has on mine, because this one was just kind of ruined, but it didn't find anyone else. But just a great tool so that you can make sure that your images are always straight and that the lines in the image is always straight. And the next one is one that I think is really cool. And that is, if you go back to your albums here, you can go up to the search tool and you can search for images based on what they contain. So for example, I can search for example, a bike. Lightroom is going to use an AI to look at the images and look for bikes in your image. So for example, this first one shows up where I have a photograph of my bicycle. So I think it's a super cool way of just finding your images instead of just scrolling through them. Lightroom has an AI that will search it for you. So for example, a building, you can search for that as well. I mean, how sick is that? I love it. And the last tip is when you are here in your albums, if you go up to the top right corner, once again, you can see here that you have info overlays. Here you can choose to show info overlays on the thumbnails of the images, just to make it easier to find the images that you really want. So I usually have it on flags and ratings. This will just make sure, so if you look in the top one here, you can see that that image has five stars. It's just an easy way to find the images that you want. Uh, it's just a small overlay over the thumbnail and I think it's great. All right, and there you have it. Those are 15 hacks and tips for Lightroom Mobile. I don't even know what it's called anymore. But if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. The community is growing. We are so close to a thousand subscribers now. Um, and I guess I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good day.